Hi, I'm Minnie, and I like art. I've noticed on YouTube that a lot of people like sketchbook tour videos. So I decided that I was gonna do a sketchbook tour video. I filmed a flip through of this particular sketchbook, which was my sketchbook between about 2011 to around 2014 or 15. So it's quite old now, which is terrifying to think of. How was 2015 a long time ago? What? I do have a disclaimer. During this particular period of time, I was heavily invested into the K-pop scene, uh, in particular a band called Big Bang. And in memory of this part of my life, I've decided to wear the merch. As a special treat, I decided to share with you a clip from a Big Bang concert that I took in 2015. Prepare to cover your ears in three, two, one. So with all that being said, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this sketchbook and may the odds be ever in your favour. The first piece of art that I'll show you today is my cup of tea. Um, the second piece of art is this picture of my dog, which I drew actually in memory of him because he passed away in a really horrible circumstance, which I'm not going to go into, but here he is immortalised in a picture. I did the scenery in paint, watercolour paint, and he is in pencil. Let us leave this sadness behind and move on to a more husband-worthy topic. This is Korean actor Gong Yu. Gong Yu was born in 1979, is six foot tall, and is a descendant of Chinese superstar Confucius. He's also a really, really, really good actor, and I'm not biased, I promise, really, I'm not. He was recently in the highly acclaimed movie Train to Busan, but I saw him first in the K-drama Coffee Prince, in which he plays a coffee shop owner who thinks he's gay because he falls in love with a girl who's dressed up as a guy. So it's really top tier stuff. Oh, and also this was drawn in graphite. What I didn't know at the time of recording this sketchbook flip through is that Gong Yu is actually in Squid Game as well. He's the guy who slaps the main character at the beginning. This is a drawing I drew from life. It isn't very good to be honest, but it was, uh, I, I went on a camping trip and I drew my friends. Ah, this is Chase Crawford. So at the time I was really into Gossip Girl and the caption there says, the man your man should smell like. Let's move on. This here next picture is a picture of, uh, what's my voice? Okay, let's start that again. This is a picture of my little sister who was 16 at the time. So she now is currently 26. So this is a 10 year old picture, flipping heck. Anyway, the proportions are really, really bad. But to my credit, this was drawn from life. So yeah. Oh, it's Blake Lively. Uh, obviously I was into Gossip Girl, so I drew Blake Lively because she's stunning. And this is another Korean singer called Daesung. I remember at the time I was super, super pumped that I'd drawn like a full body and that I'd got the proportions kind of okay. In fact, it's still not really that bad. I could probably do better now, but for the time, this is not bad. It's not bad. Oh, so this next page is a bit of a mishmash. It's got a scene from Gossip Girl, that's Dan talking to Serena. And then there's a little picture of an ear, which I think I drew when my sister was asleep, which is kind of creepy. Oh, okay, okay, here he is, Ben Flippin' Barnes, who's still relevant to this day. There he is. I drew that when I was watching a film with him in, which I forgot the name of. Oh, this one. This one's a picture of Annie, who was a friend I met on the forum for Big Bang. And I still think it's pretty good, if I do say so myself. I should have finished it. Another blank page. Great. Ah! Right. I did not draw this. I'd like to be clear about this. This is not my work. This is a piece of work my sister did within my sketchbook. And as we can see, she needs to work 
on some things. This is T.O.P. Top, the rapper from Big Bang or Choi Sung Hyun, if you want to use his real name. Uh, the hands are pretty good in this. I like the hands. Uh, uh, this is a picture of a little kitty cat, little a little friend's kitty cat. Ah, oh, the eyeball page. These are my eyes, or the top ones are my eyes. Those are Dree Dragon's eyes. Those are Robert Downey Jr's eyes. And the next ones are Jennifer Lawrence, the actor's eyes. And that's Gong Yu's eyes. And will you remember Gong Yu from the first page? Yeah, they're his eyes. So that's the eyeball page. Uh, this, never mind that. Uh, this is a character from a Korean drama called Iris, which is a really good drama. It's like a spy, thriller, assassin type of thing. Um, she was a really cool character and she had a cool haircut and she was like a badass and she shot people and she took out baddies and it was great. So you should watch it if you're into that kind of thing. This was a picture I drew from my head. So I didn't use a reference or anything and you can really tell because what is that head shape like is it a football that's turned into a human uh this was me trying to be all expressive and abstract and i got bored of it because i like drawing from a reference that's another self-portrait of me i actually stood in front of the mirror took a picture of myself with the umbrella and then copied this picture from that photo so that's the most interesting story you've ever heard in your life i know but, oh, this is like a super charcoal graphite picture of Top the Rapper that I was talking about earlier. And it's still potent graphite. I mean, that will be marking the world for the rest of time and space. That's a picture of my own hand and a child got hold of my book and drew in it, obviously. Look at their wonderful markings forever ingrained in my sketchbook. This was actually a picture my sister drew. She can draw. She copied this from the front of a Vogue ma magazine or something like that. Okay, uh, this was a, my picture. Um, it was at a time in my life when I couldn't draw very well. You know, you have those moments as an artist where you're like, you try and you fail. Ah, I really like this one. It's Park Bom, the Korean singer, of course, Korean, because that was my obsession at the time. And she wore this really cool hoodie with wings on the, the hood. And she was wearing this cool Argentina dress. This one was a quick sketch of an actor called Kim Jae Wook. And I really like how it turned out, actually. It's very nice. It's a pleasant one. Um, okay, this was an art block moment. We all have it. Let's be honest with each other. We have these moments, these frustrated moments. It's okay. Uh, this one says, the octopus was the ugly creature because nobody ever noticed how beautiful it was. Oh. This is Jennifer Lawrence. I had kind of like a girl crush on Jennifer Lawrence for a while. And I thought this picture was good at the time, but actually the proportions are really off. This was a moment when I tried to be a comic book artist for three little sections and then gave up. More blank pages, more. These must have been sketch studies for different things that I did. Um, I, I can't remember what they were. This was a page. This was like an abstract fantasy idea that I had. This one, I really like this picture still. It's a picture of my favorite actor, Ben Whishaw. I love Ben Whishaw. He's his acting. He's just a beautiful actor. Like watch anything he's in. It's just wonderful. Anyway, I was really obsessed with this film called Bright Star and it's an amazing film. If you like poetry or poets, you should watch it because it's about John Keats, the poet. And it's one of my favorite films. It's probably like in my top five favorite films. This is a little study of myself from the side profile. Um, this is a little penguin. Uh, didn't like it. This was a picture I drew of a singer from a band called CM Blue and a I half did it and then someone told me it didn't really look like him so I just gave up because I was discouraged by the person. This was another moment of art block. Where is talent? Where is talent? You know, we all go through these phases. This was a picture of a fountain that I drew from a dream that I had. 
about a fountain that was all blocked up with dirt and then the water came through it and just washed it all out and it was renewed and I thought that was kind of symbolic of where I was at the time because I felt like I was blocked up and it needed to be renewed. More non-pages. Oh, it's Steve. Wonderful, beautiful Steve. This was the first picture I ever drew of Captain America. And you know what? It's still good. I like this picture. Mm, that cup of tea looks very good. This was a little sketch of Ben Wishaw and Matthew Good. They did like a photo shoot with cigarettes and they were really cool and it was like a black and white cigarette photo shoot and I drew that hand but then I felt like I hated the hand so I drew it again in a circle with a cigarette and it was just like, what's that say? Mangled bromance. So that's, that's what this page is called then. It's called Mangled Bromance. So that's a good, wonderful. Let's move on. My sister requested this one. It's Monica Bellucci in Sharpie. And I don't know why she requested it. I think she probably just watched James Bond. This is a picture of a parrot. This was a picture of myself. I drew it because I liked it. These are just a little weird collaboration. That's my hand. That's my housemate Bailey with a little, she's in a little, she, she liked to wrap up in a duvet and get all cozy and we'd watch Community together and it was wonderful. Speaking of Community, it's Donald Glover who is in Community and he's actually my favourite character. Have any of you watched it? He plays Troy Bolton, not Troy Bolton, that's High School Musical. <laughs> but he plays Troy in Community and he is hilarious. This was a picture I thought was going to be good and then it didn't end up being good and we'll just leave it at that. Uh, everything disappears. Wow, that's deep. Again, an eyeball. We go there. I don't know whose eyeball it is actually. Um, and that's a headless man. Wow. And this is my beautiful, wonderful child Samuel, who I miss dearly, who is a treasure and an angel in heaven. This picture, oh my gosh, I tried to draw this so many flipping times. Like I was just, I was like, I'm not going to be beaten by this reference. I'm going to get it done. It was a reference of Bright Star where the two main characters, they're dancing together or like they're hugging or embracing or something. I tried to draw it so many times, you can see, and then I just gave up because it wasn't, it wasn't working for me. Here's another picture of Ben Wishaw from probably from Bright Star, a reference from Bright Star and it has a John Keats quote there. Can't, can't quite read why it says, but it's one of his quotes from his poems. And this one is a picture of my friend Shekinah with her cat. Um, of, well, we're just flipping through now. I can't keep up, goodness me. Oh, there's another picture of Bailey, who I probably drew, that was probably from life actually. And she is lovely. And here's a picture of, I got some new brush pens, so I was trying them out. It's like a Chinese building. And this is a picture of my friend Camilla that I drew with those brush pens. And I really liked this picture when I did draw it. And I like it still. Um, and yeah, some rubbishy pages. That's it. That's, that's the main bulk of this adventure that we've been through together. And I'm very excited that this is the end of this voiceover. Yeah, okay, let's go to the outro now. Bye! I just realised this dropped out of the sketchbook and I didn't show you, so there it is. It's Ben Wishaw. I think it's from him in James Bond because he plays Q in James Bond. And as it says there, I don't look anything like who I am. And it doesn't. It doesn't look like him. So there you go. Bonus! Can I interest you in everything all of the time? A little bit of everything all of the time. Oh, you're back. Hi. Did you enjoy that? While I was flipping through that sketchbook, it made me think how making a sketchbook isn't just practicing drawing and filling the pages with art. It's also you're documenting a part of yourself. When I was flipping through those pages, I didn't just see past art, I saw my past self as well, and that's quite nostalgic. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed going through that sketchbook. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Oh, also, I've just finished another sketchbook, so if you'd like to see that one, it's very fresh, fresh from the mind of the creator, let me know in the comments. So that's it from me for today. I'm gonna finish my tea now and I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna make art. You should too. Get on with it.